Hi there! So you've decided to dive into the world of online learning. Congratulations, it's a great world to be in. I'd like to share a few things to remember and a few tips and tricks to help you get started. Let's start with the things to remember. First off, online learning is harder than it looks, but it's okay, you can do it. In fact, you probably already do learn online all the time. Did you just learn how to make elephant toothpaste? What about really cool rainbow slime? So if you're doing those things online, you can absolutely learn long division, fractions, quadratic equations, chemicals, what brought on the War of 1812, all online. But you'll need to remember that now you're in control, so you're going to need to make a plan. Also remember that learning online might not look like it did when you were learning in the classroom. It also might not take as long. So listen up parents and students. Remember that learning online is going to look different and that's okay. Don't watch the clock, watch the learning. The last thing I want you to remember is that transitioning from learning in the classroom to learning online is a transition. And it's okay to adjust your plans as you figure out what works best for you as a learner in your new learning environment. Great, let's move on to tips and tricks. My first tip is this, make a daily schedule. Parents, students, learning coaches, whoever is working together, you need to sit down and make your schedule together. Here's one I use with my elementary learners and one I use with middle school and high school learners. You can use this plan or a variation, set times that work for you, and be aware that it's okay to end things early if you're done early. Don't just sit and do math because you still have five more minutes left. If you've reached your objective for the day, move on to something. My next tip is this, fill out a weekly planner. Make sure everybody knows what the plan is. This tip goes along with this trick. When you fill out your planner, put times next to when you're gonna work on things and about how long you think it will take you. So if you are going to do a journal entry for language arts and you want it to last 15 minutes, write down the time you're gonna start and the time you're going to end. So there's never a question. Also, if somebody walks in on you watching cat videos, they can say, hey, weren't you gonna do journal entries? And help hold you accountable. The biggest takeaway from this video should be this. Online learning is awesome and you're already doing it. Now, you're gonna to have to be in control of all the learning. Make sure that you're logging in and doing what you need to do. You can absolutely do it. And you can even learn using YouTube. Just remember that it's all about the learning and not about the time. Your learning day is going to look different, but it's going to be awesome. Good luck as you navigate this new world of online learning.